Um, I don't know what the boss is for this area, so... Hopefully it's not difficult. Like I said, the first couple of Chalice Dungeons are kind of fun. Uh, it's, it's worth going through, I guess. Extra experience and, uh... I don't know. It's just fun to play Bloodborne, and this Chalice Dungeon just gives you more Bloodborne to play. It's just not in the most refined way. Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. Come on and slam, if you want a jam. Whoa, hey buddy. Slam, bam, thank you ma'am. Oh, there's a snatcher over there. <laughs> you find that funny? <laughs> Alistar is in the background working on something. <laughs> oh god, where is it? Oh god, yeah, it's... His body is snatched. Snatch away. Don't kick me, that's rude. Didn't your mom ever tell you not to be rude? There you go. God, that's so good. This weapon is so freaking good. Uh, anyway, these chests usually contain, um... Yeah. Uh, whatever ritual materials or whatever uh, materials you need for the next, uh... <clears throat> chalice. Because once you beat this chalice, you need to make another one so you can go to whatever the next floor is. And so you need certain uh, ingredients for it. And so that's usually what uh, those chests contain. Um, sometimes you'll have to go through a chalice multiple times in order to get just one ingredient that you need. Which is really annoying. I remember going to... Uh, when I was trying to 100% the game, I had to go through a certain room. A certain floor, I guess. Uh... Jeez, 10 plus times, exact same floor, 10 plus times, just so I can get the, the ingredients that I need. Because it's only a chance if they drop it. It's like, it could either be in a chest or it could be in, uh, or enemy could drop it. And if neither of those had it, then that was kind of it. Oh, this is an easy boss, okay. So the Merciless Watcher and then the Merciless Chieftain. Um... Whoa! Okay, I was gonna say parry them, but... Also, uh, I think the Chieftain has a gun. And then, I only see two of them. I don't know what the third one is. Just gotta stay wary. They go down extremely easily. Like play properly. No! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, let's get down here. That was great. <laughs> I tried to cope to actually uh, visceral him, and the guy shot me, and I couldn't. Okay. All right, so he's dead. That's good. He's dead. Now it's just the chieftain who has like a gun. So that's all he has actually. Oh, he's a watcher. Already beat the chieftain. Oh crap. Let's oh, parry his lantern. Come on, hit me with that. Don't. It's like I just a charged R2 with my untricked weapon. Did almost half of his health. Oh, here we go. Now he has a real weapon. Or not. What the frick, man? <laughs> Do something! Oh my god. Either stick with your weapon or stick with your gun. Oh god, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the geometry. There we go. And he's dead. So some floors just have that. Just the Merciless Watcher and uh, the Watcher Chieftain. So there we go. The Thumera Root Chalice. Now we can go to the Roots. Um... Which the root chalices are completely uh, randomly generated. 
Are there more bloodstones? Yeah, or gemstones. I did all of that without my cap, I just realized that. <clears throat> so like, remember, like I said before, this is all supposed to be done alongside. This is layer three. Alongside your main game. So you go do some main game, you come back and do this. And then vice versa. <clears throat> I should probably go take my echoes back if I was a smart man. But surprise, surprise. Not that smart. Like that guy down there. That's the locked door, so we'll come back here. Um, Prospector Olex. So there are certain, um, I guess, prospectors. There are certain hunters that you can summon that you can't summon in the main game, just in the Chalice Dungeons. My guess is that they were. Uh, a part of the original Bergenworth Scholars that came down here. Oh god, that thing. Uh, yeah, I should have saved my echoes. This thing shoots explosives and also rain meteors, I believe. And it's gross. Oh, it can also shoot that. Oh god, it reminds me of the gaping dragon. Oh god. What is happening? Kill it! Kill it! Fire! What am I doing? I'm being a dummy is what I'm doing. I forgot I have the weed whacker. Sometimes I can actually drop uh, stuff for your chalice dungeons. Uh, pretty good stuff, if I believe. If I remember correctly. Who's shooting me? That's a body snatcher. Come snatch me up! I wanna do a charge R2 on his back. I wanna see how much damage it does. Yeah, look how fast that was. I was able to kill him. I didn't even need to do the charge R2 like the uh... Oh, hello there buddy. Oh god! Oh, bloodstones, nice. Yeah. Or gemstones, I mean. There's too much blood items in this game. Oh! Oh, yeah, I need to go find that witch. Red sorcerer? Summoner. Conjurer. Oh, there we go, there's another centipede. I think they're called celestial centipedes? special there. Here we go, so if the head drops, then they can drop Arcane Haze. Okay, let's go up these steps now. So, Scurrying Beasts can be found. I guess they can also drop, uh, Gemstones. Where is she? Where is she? Where is Rachel? Is she not even out here? Oh, there she is. Did you guys drop anything? Oh, you did. Gosh dang it. You dropped it midair? Oh, come on. Is there an easy way to get back up here? Alright, I'm gonna try one more time grabbing it while I'm in the air. Or not. I don't know, I'm not gonna try. Sometimes enemies will die in the middle of the air and leave their thing. Uh, Jura does that. If he falls off... The, 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 the place that you find him in, uh, an old Yarnum. Uh, the side that he's standing on when you first see him. If he falls off of that side, then... That's cool. Oh, it opens a new place for me. 
um, then you have to save and reload your game and his thing will appear back on top of the tower. Um, if you fall off the side like he did in my game, then you can just run down and grab it. Alright, so there's two ways I can go. Let's try both. Any more blood vials? Take a look. It's in a book. Reading rainbow. Oh, blood vials. Ask and you shall receive. You the only one here, buddy? Okay. Oh, jeez. I didn't do much damage at all. No, no. Just in case. <laughs> I was trapped in this game, or in the Chalice Dungeons. So, uh, it's like Sen's Fortress uh, in that regard. Where's the ladder? Oh, so where did I come from? Wait, I didn't even bring a ladder into this area, did I? Where am I going? Where am I? Where is this? This is all new. Long hallway with nothing except for one item at the end. I don't see what can go wrong here. Nothing, actually. Really? It's just a long hallway with nothing in it except for one item at the end. Okay. It's good game design. Oh god, where am I now? There's a tree. Oh, treasure chest, nice. <clears throat> the, oh, two mold. There are some chalice dungeon bosses that get ridiculously, just ridiculous. <laughs> They're insanely difficult, and, um, just not worth fighting. The headless abhorrent beast. The abhorrent beast with its head. <laughs> intact. We have this Demon Souls uh, <laughs> elevator. It's actually being recorded before uh, a Demon Souls online goes goes out, so rip rip Demon Souls online multiplayer. Actually I was able, able, never able to um, go online uh, on, on Demon Souls because I uh, I used cheats, and I made my character super, super strong, and uh, nobody's that level for PvP, so I never actually was able to do PvP. Which I guess doesn't really matter, because I don't like PvP anyway. <clears throat> uh, sometimes there's side doors that can open, and they lead to a short little area. It, uh, it's a dead-end area, but there's items and stuff you can get. If you see it, I recommend going in. Time to get snatched. Oh gosh. God, why isn't poison thing in this game? That would be great. Oh no. No 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 no. That's fine. You can stay over there, and I'll stay over here. There we go. All's well it ends well. I was also gonna say there's just one enemy in the Chalice Dungeon that absolutely just frightens me to the core. Uh, I don't think we'll get far enough in the Chalice Dungeon to actually see it, but I hate seeing this enemy, and I hate everything about it. It's uh, just imagine 
every Japanese horror movie it combined into one thing. It's it's that. I guess it makes sense because this is a horror RPG, but this is going on a lot longer than I expected it to. Usually the side areas don't last that long. They usually sing in this room, the enemy I was just talking about, so I got kind of scared when I walked in here. <clears throat> so these big grand chests that I don't think we actually even see in the main game. It's only in here. Ritual blood. Nothing special, I guess. Still just more. Just hoping for like a gemstone or something. Okay. Um, I guess I'll go this way. They're standing there. Oh, they're not turned to me, that's fine. Oh god, oh god. That's bad. <laughs> that's bad. This drops down to an area we've already been in, I believe. Let's go back to the previous room. Where to now? Was there like one other branching path? There's the, uh, I don't know, the trap plate right there. If you step on that, the thing will shoot you. Yeah. So if you want to, there is a, um, a quote-unquote final boss of sorts inside the Chalice Dungeons, and you do have to defeat that boss if you want to get, a. Uh, 100% in this game. There's nothing else in this room? Okay. Um, so she's pretty far dead. You have to go through a lot of the Chalice Dungeons to get to her. Um, but once you do, you are rewarded with a, um, a, a special item called a Blood Rock, which allows you to level up your uh, weapon to plus 10. Which... You only get one in the main game, one in the DLC, and then one in the Chalice Dungeons. So per game, you can only level up three weapons to plus ten. Although I think actually added a patch so you can actually buy them now, but they're extremely expensive because you have to buy them with insight. And it's like 60 insight for one. Oh boy, it's this guy. Oh no. He's a fun guy, and he's not... Oh god. He's a big doggo. Actually, uh, oh God. in some of the um, data mining we just did for Bloodborne, I think they found this boss was supposed to be in the original game, in the main game. Okay, uh, I don't even know how to... It's like Dark Beast Parl. You want to go after the legs, but not under him, because he has attacks for that. Is a fire charge. Uh, don't get hit in that. Suppose that. That. He hops away so quickly. Uh, now would be a time to wear the uh, charred hunter set or um, the black uh, hunter's garb. If you have it. How 
that didn't kill me? I have no clue. I should have been dead. There we go. I was waiting for him to stand still so I could do the weed whacker, and that just destroyed him. There we go, Central Sumeria Chalice, and then a Fire Blood Gemstone. So now we can go to Central Sumeru, and we can go to the Root Sumeru, um, and I think it's also Sumeru Depths. Um, and that's it. We, we've reached the end. We can't go, there's no more elevators, no more way to go down, so we've beaten completely the first Sumeru Chalice Dungeon. As you see, it just continues. I have to go through all the central, then all the root. Not the root, actually. I think you just have to go through the central. <clears throat> and then you can go and create wherever the next Chalice Dungeon is. Yeah. Wait, that was fun. Let's not do that again. Let's put some more into endurance now that I have the world gig saw. Because the L2 is just so good. No, I don't know why I did that. I wanted to talk to her. Hunters about the gods and their love. But do the gods love their creations? I am a dog created by you humans. Would you ever think to love me? I would die for you. I do love you. Oh. Isn't that how you've made me? Mm. It's interesting. We've made her to love us. So does she really love us, or does, or is she just doing what we tell her to do? There you go. So you can buy ritual blood now. You can buy a few things. Uh, Tonitrus. The world gig saw. Uh, let's go try to equip some of our new uh, our new gemstones we just got. So the chalice dungeons, pretty much it's for gemstones. If you want really good gemstones, you have to go to the deeper, deeper dungeons. Look at that. Physical attack at plus 12. Now the world kick saw is definitely better than the Kirk Hammer. Another attack at plus 12. Oh, jeez. There is no stop in this train. There we go, 165 plus 115. That's 280 the Kirk Hammer's at. And then... 281 the World Geek Saw is at. Where are we going now? Uh, right, the next area. Uh, how do I get there? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we have to go to the place where the guy told us to give him the password. Which I believe you have to go to the, the Cathedral War, the Odin Chapel first. Blood Beast pellet. <laughs> no, it's 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 hardened beast blood, and then you eat it. Workshop haze extractor. Oh. Okay, let's see. Um. Let's try going this way. I always I always forget. No, it's not that way. I know which way it is actually. I always go that way, thinking it's that way, but it's not that way, because that's the way to Old Yarnum. I want to go this way. Yeah. So I'm going to go to this big 
uh, courtyard area. Oh god, he's still awake. So now the giants are sleeping, which is kind of nice. I don't have to deal with them. They will wake up, of course, if you attack them or if you make too much noise. Like that. God, that thing is still over there. I kind of hate blood or brain suckers. Okay, you have to die real quick. Like I said, do not let the brain suckers attack you. They will suck your brain. And it is not a pleasant experience. So come over here, now Alfred is here. So this one, the Corrupted Vile Bloods, that's a new one. Ah, there's something I want to tell you. A bit of wisdom from the eminent Master Ligarius. Master Ligarius. Once, a scholar betrayed his fellows at Bergenworth, and brought forbidden blood back with him to Canehurst Castle. It was there that the first of the inhuman Vile Bloods was born. The Vile Bloods are fiendish creatures who threaten the purity of the Church's blood healing. The ruler of the Vile Bloods is still alive today. And so, to honor my master's wishes, I search for the path to Canehurst Castle. I bid you farewell. It has been a pleasure. May the good blood guide your way. So, a lot of interesting things he said. Um, so he works under Master Ligarius, and he tries to—he's uh, trying to find Canehurst Castle to destroy the vile blood. So, after the uh, scholars of Burdenworth brought the uh, the blood back from the Thumerian tombs, they brought it to Canehurst Castle, in which they said they made inhuman vile bloods. So, if we ever find a way to get to Canehurst Castle, maybe we can uh, help him out for helping us out. So before, we couldn't get past this door because we needed a password. But after we fought Vicar Romilio, we saw that flashback. And now we know fear the old blood. It's the old adage. So this was a guy that I was talking to us, but... Already did. Okay. <laughs> and I get bad man's knowledge from it. Okay. Um... There's some things in the game that can uh, kind of spoil it for you. There's a few things that um, so spoil a secret for you, I should say. Um, and a few things in the game that kind of lead you in the right direction. But I'd say this is the point, this is the turning point in the game. Uh, the Forbidden Woods. This is pretty much the longest area in the whole game. And, uh, oh gosh. This is when the game really makes its change, uh, when Act 2 comes into comes into play. Because Bloodborne's Act 2 is very different from what we've been seeing so far. And uh, once the change starts to happen, I'll, I'll kind of go over and explain it. So from right up here, you actually see a few things going on down there. You see an uh, item, we see this dude walking across the bridge. Uh, this area is very long, there's a lot of difficult enemies. Uh, you pretty much need to be on top of it at all times. Oh gosh. This guy's throwing uh, oil urns at you. Now you're covered in oil. So this guy walks up and then burns you. I want to try something. I want to see the the shake off cape. Oh, was... The shake off cape actually works. Well, I can't tell now. Okay, let's see if it works. No, it doesn't. Oh, man. That would've been nice if it did. Oh, the... Doing the gesture would actually take off the, uh, the oil from you. 